Item number eight, we have Cassie Ledford. Cassie, good to see you. She is here to speak on a ban on synthetic and drug products. And we appreciate you being here. Let me tell you, introduce you to Cassie Ledford, folks. If you don't know Cassie, uh, we have some good news to go along with Cassie's appearance tonight. But Cassie was going to tell you a story about uh, these items that we've talked about in front of this board before. We should be joined by the sheriff. We're really proud of this young lady for a number of reasons. Uh, Cassie can tell you, tell you that story. But Cassie, welcome to this board. Thank you for the work you want to say to this board and for the work you put in to make uh, what we hope has been passed in the General Assembly in reality. So uh, thank you, Cassie. And at the end of Cassie's presentation, uh, she also has some friends with her. I'd like you to introduce Cassie whenever you get the, get the chance. And at the end, Sherman and I have a presentation on Cassie. So you go ahead, Cassie. Adrian Martinez and Beth Ellis will also be speaking with me. And we would like to thank you guys for your support during our whole process of getting us banned. And we are so glad it has been. And it's the synthetic marijuana. And it's, it's horrible. It's just mainly chemicals. And it's taken lives. It's led people off of their path. And People go really downhill on it very fast. So now that our bill has been passed, we're hoping to kind of just spread the message to everybody, anybody who will listen, that something needs to be done about it. We really want to thank each and every one of you commissioners for supporting the legislation on this because this has been a really big uh, epidemic, you could call it as to um, our county and surrounding counties all in North Carolina. And we really appreciate your support and, you know, to help get this bill passed for the stuff to be done away with in North Carolina. We chose to help people like this. It goes all the way back to when I was going to help the Human Services Committee that I was first contacted. That's when the conversation started. That's been over two years. So, like everything mm -hmm. else to Thank you guys so much. And also, thank you guys for funding the law enforcement to be able to put this into effect and do something about people who do have this product. And the sheriff would like to add a few things. Cassie, the sheriff, you step up. Basically, I don't want to steal their thunder. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of these young people. Um, basically, I got a phone call and was asked the question, when are you going to do something about this legal stuff? Well, I was looking forward to meeting with them to let them know why I'm not able to do anything about this legal stuff because it was legal, um, which is the key word. And, and I encouraged them to, to get in contact with senators and members of the legislature. And uh, we actually made contact that evening uh, with uh, one of our senators, Senator Jim Davis Franklin, and uh, he agreed to, to meet with them. So uh, uh, he met with them at the sheriff's office, um, a, a large group of them, in fact. Um, and got his ears full and was, was in the process or had introduced legislation as well. And um, uh, it wasn't his bill that got passed, but the fact that you had several senators that were trying to get legislation, I'm sure Senator Davis jumped on board with these other senators to, to vote for it. Um, the same thing happened with Bob Parker and with David Davis. Um, when did you meet with Senator Davis? Was that? It was March. Six weeks ago. It was in March. It was before we went, we, we went down uh, through the commission of the and seven bill went down and met with our legislators in Raleigh. And one of the reasons we do that is to take the message here to them. And that was one of the things we talked to them about. And apparently we were successful because they, they passed that. Uh, last week they passed it, and it's just waiting for the governor to sign. It's been passed by the House and the Senate. The House and the Senate. It's been sent to the governor to sign it. And he 
Yes. Yes. I think this also goes beyond just that. It covers the bath salts. It covers the other things that we come on the market. Yeah. Uh, beyond that. And uh, I think what's important to know too, and, and I'm sure that the, the media will do stories on it eventually, but the fact that it's also going to be legal for, for people to possess. Um, and that wasn't even for us to, we couldn't do anything about it. And I can't tell you the number of parents that I've sat down with, and some parents of uh, uh, well connected members of our community who have had children who have been uh, hooked on this stuff. Extremely dangerous, and uh, we couldn't do anything. As a uh, sheriff, that's very frustrating. But I would like to also say to you, I'm extremely proud of these young people because um, they took a lot of heat for taking the stand. Uh, there's a lot. There's several more members of this group. This is the core group. There's several more members um, that will tell you stories of their usage of this drug. So it took a lot of guts, and so you have those people that are selling this junk um, and, and making money and, and benefiting um, that are giving them a hard time. They, they stood their course, and I've, I've asked them to remain professional. I've read their post on Facebook, and they have been. They've been very professional, They're doing the right thing, and you can know, get across people to listen. And as a sheriff, I just want you all to know I'm extremely proud of you guys. And, uh, uh, be prepared. You will see more about these kids. They plan to do protests, um, uh, legal protests, and, um, and uh, they're, they're going to. They're going to. Any other thing? They want to see action done to do businesses that are able to sell this paraphernalia. A lot of people don't understand what paraphernalia is. I can sell you a crack pipe or a bomb to smoke dope out of today, totally legal. Or my officer pulls you over on the side of the road. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But the moment, you, the, drug with the moment you touch that drug and you have residue on those crack pipes and stuff, then it becomes paraphernalia. Well, these people are selling this in our community, and I, I, it's frustrating sometimes that enough groups don't take a stand against this. And that's why I'm so proud of that. Why us adults did nothing? Us young, the young people did. And I'm extremely proud of that. And they should be commended. And I look forward to making sure they're safe and they're put it best. Sheriff, your, uh, your liaison from our board is the special appeal. And if it'd be okay, he and I would like to present a little gift to the casting for anything you want to add to casting for. Tell us a little bit about this stuff right here. I guess I'm a little bit back. Is this something so local to the county? Absolutely. Um, in fact, uh, at, at meetings, I, I would encourage you all to visit these places, and you will, you will leave there shocked. Um, I wouldn't go alone because you'll probably make the newspaper of going in there and buying stuff. I might take a couple of visits and, and visit these places. Where I think you would be shocked. I'll, I'll meet with you at this meeting. I don't want. I don't want to. Pub, I don't want to publicize for them. Um, uh, but I pass it every day. And what will shock you the most is before school and after school. Mr. Haven, I'll be happy to give you all the information. I appreciate. It. I tell you, I guess I raised no school this stuff all me. Watch the kids piling in there before school. It's not unlike. It's not unlike math. It's not a drug in and of itself, it's created from other things. Chemicals, sprays. And all this is detailed in the copy of the bill that was passed and ratified. It has been signed by Daniel J. Park, President of the Senate, and Tom Gill, Speaker of the House of Representatives. All it likes is a government signature, and I'm sure this won't be signed. So this is a copy for you, or a copy for y'all. A copy of the ratified bill that y'all worked so hard on. You can see this. It's House Bill 813. It's a ratified bill, which means it's been passed by both houses. It's now in the governor's possession for him to sign. It says an act to make the manufacturer possession, sale, use, and delivery of all synthetic houses un unlawful. So that covers, that gets them off everything. And on behalf of the chairman and all the rest of the board members and the, and the people of this community, 
This is just a small token of our appreciation. This is a, a symbol of the Macon County flag. Have you ever seen the Macon County flag? Well, this is it. It just says special thanks. And this is just something for y'all to keep. To show our appreciation for the dedication of the young people. We thank you more than you ever know. Because you all the ones come make the changes. We're not there with the same rest of it. So thank you so much.